So let's move on. My goodness. I can't believe this. This is the Alpha Nateba. You can tell by looking at its core. An Alpha core. She were Eve. Hmm? Uh, there's something you need to know. The truth is. Hello? Here. Can somebody rescue me? Please? A human voice? In the pod. If you're there, please help. What the? Uh, A survivor from the airborne squad. Uh, were you the one who sent the rescue signal? Huh? Yes. Yes, it was me. You're a member of the 7th Airborne Squad, right? Yes. And you? Right. Let me introduce myself. I'm an engineering support of the 5th Airborne Squad. Lily Artemis II. But you can just call me Lily. So just to recap, you were in that hideout waiting for another squad to arrive for almost two years? And then you met us. Yes, thank you so much for saving me. I've been waiting a long time for the next squad to come in. It's been really lonely here. It's really lucky we were able to find you when we did. Eve, you're from the Airborne Squad Assault Force, right? Yes. Then I can be your engineering support. Of course, I will need proper equipment first. Equipment? Hmm. Well, I did want to say something earlier. What is it? Actually, there's a city where other survivors, besides me, live. <laughs> what? Really? It's called Zion, humanity's last city. If we go there, there might be people that can help us. I have a safe house with some equipment I bet you would want. Then let's head there quickly! Before that, I would like to ask you something. Currently, Zion is holding out under the guidance of Orkor, who is also our spiritual leader. It's complicated. Eve, I imagine completing your mission isn't any easier having lost your comrades. So, please. Help me save Zion. If you do, I promise Oracle and I will do everything we can to help you on your mission. It's about joining forces and helping each other, just like we did before. Sound good? Yes. Thanks to teamwork, I was able to get the Alpha Core. Maybe we can get more information in the city, Eve. Think about it. Yes, I suppose there's no reason to say no. However, I want to decide after hearing the story from that person you're calling Orkel. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I can definitely get behind that idea. Well, I guess that settles that. All right then, let's head to Zion. Yes!
It's surprising to see a city in a place like this. During its prime, over a hundred thousand people called it home. Obviously, now there are fewer. The place you see below is my safe house. The auxiliary engine's output is weak, so things can get bumpy. Hold on tight. city underneath the wasteland it's amazing even in the darkest times it's always safe to bet on human survival instinct so where do we go no time for breaks typical leave Oracle is in the presence chamber. Follow me. Looks like they built the city deep and high. Are all those walls around the city supposed to protect it from Natiba attacks? The walls don't seem to be as reinforced as well as they should be. Most likely, there will be a protocol to rescue everyone. It'll be a big project. But the only way it'll be possible to contact the colony will be to finish the mission. I hope that day comes soon. Adam, why are the streets so empty? Is everyone hiding because of us? We have a situation here. A situation? You'll see when you get to the presence chamber. Come on, we're almost there. Looks like you brought guests. Very important guests. Can you open the door? Go. Oracle is waiting for you. See you soon, Rael. This place, 
This is where the memories are kept, right? You've got a keen eye. That's right. The presence chamber is where memories are stored. The memories of those who couldn't make it back to Mother Sphere. <clears throat> Over here. I see we have guests. Welcome. Let me start the introductions. This is Zion's prophet, Oracle. I'm Airborne Squad Member Eve. My name's Lily. Pleased to meet you. Adam has told me all about you. You defeated an Alpha Nativa. Could you show me anything it might have dropped? Here. Oh, it's an Alpha Core. Please, a moment. Your objective is to rid the world of the Elder Natiba, the leader of all other Natibans. Well, then, I suppose you're trying to use the Alpha Core as a key to open the way forward to the nest. Is that right? How did you know that? Unfortunately, the nest cannot be opened with the Alpha Core alone. What? No way! But is... is there really no other way to reach the nest? By fusing four Alpha Cores together, you create something called a Master Core. Only with the Master Core will you be able to reach the very deepest corner of the nest. How... how do you know all this? Thanks to my personal link to the facility on the surface, I can search anywhere and everywhere on Earth. All I require is the right amount of energy. That would also mean you'd be able to track down the Alpha Nativa. That's enough for introductions. Adam, please insert the hypercell. Eve, here. Hey, Lily, this way. Oh, it's so dark. I really don't like the dark. This is the hyperdrive, the source of all of Zion's energy. Hey, the hypercell you brought will bring light to Zion. Here, try putting the hypercell in here. Is this some kind of graveyard? No. The people here are in a deep sleep due to energy depletion. Carrying on this way, it can only bring darkness. Eve, please help us.
Thanks to the hypercell Eve acquired, they're safe. For the time being. I'm glad I was able to do something of significance. Do we need more hypercells? If the citizens ever want to wake up? Yes. We need three more hypercells if we ever want to fully rebuild Zion. Let's go back to Oracle and you can hear the rest of the story. Mar, outsiders, thank you for your hard work. Thanks to you, the lives of tens of thousands of people have been extended. And my personal link is also stabilizing. That's great news! Does that mean we can figure out the location of the Alpha Nativa now? All the Elder's energy is still being directed at maintaining the Cradle. Who... who are you? Oh, this here is Man, a Sentinel Commander. He also serves as Oracle's bodyguard. <laughs> My skills are still limited, shall we say. So I am not yet able to reach new areas. However, with the power of more hypercells, I'm certain mm. I can track the location of the Alpha Nativa. That's why I'll have to ask you for a little more help. Altus Lavoir, a place out in the wasteland, a ruin of the past. Can we count on you to retrieve another hypercell from there? Eve, I'm sure it'll be of help. Yes. We have no other choice. Adam, Lily, I'll be counting on you. It won't be easy. Make sure to be well prepared. Just checking out. Oh, I feel better now that we're outside. <laughs> Things can get pretty intense in the presence chamber. Looking guy wouldn't stop staring at me. I know he doesn't look it, but he's friendlier than you'd think. <laughs> I have to finish the maintenance on the tetrapod before we leave. Abe, can I ask you for a favor? No. I ordered a propulsion control board from a parts store called Sister's Junk. Can you go pick up the order and meet me back at the safe house? <laughs> Feel free to look around the city while you do. Okay. I'm going to borrow Adam's workshop for a bit. I want to tinker with the drone. All right. Let's all finish what we have to do and meet back at the tetrapod. Go on. Sister's junk? Yeah. Keep going down this road till you see the stairs on the right. Anyways, it's been a while since I've seen an angel. An angel in Zion. The prophecy will soon come true. An angel in mm -hmm. Zion. Yeah. 
The prophecy will soon come true. Angel, seeing you in real life, you're completely different from what I had imagined. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got sleepy. <laughs> No safer place on earth than Zion. Okay. I've never allowed a Nativa invasion until now. Are you the owner of the shop? Th that's right. Uh, at least for now. Adam sent me to pick up the new propulsion control board he ordered. I'm here. Is it ready? Hmm. Uh huh. It's ready. I even have a spare one, too. <laughs> Good to know. Let's see. How much is that going to cost? You can just take this. I, uh, heard you come to help us. O of course, I'll do what I can to help you as well. Really? Then I'll accept it. Thank you. In return, is there something else I can maybe help you with? Huh? Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's just that... You looked like you had something weighing on your mind. Did I now? Oh, I guess I can't hide anything from you, Angel. Do you want to give me the full story? All right. One day, I was out working in the scrap plains of the wasteland. Mm, when I ran into some Nativas, <laughs> I had to ditch my bike and my trunk during the escape. Mom, this the is always a bit boring for me. Metal. I had to leave it behind, or I wouldn't have made it out alive. A bike? Can you give me the exact location? I do have to go out to the wasteland. I'll go ahead and find out. <sighs> Thank you very oh. much. Jesus. Oh. Okay. Now what? Go to safe house. 
Okay, that is a safe house. Safe house is here? No. That is a safe house. Safe house here. Go out. Come on. And still. And then I need to go out somewhere here. How fast? Oh well, seriously. Um, and um, mm, can I go here? Oh, excellent. your arm out in front of you. Go on. On <laughs> the drone is different. Yes, this is no longer the drone you knew. It's an all-new, upgraded Drone 2.0 that can launch long-range projectiles. This is more than just an upgrade. It's an evolution! <laughs> now try hitting the target. <laughs> Great! So I'll do or not. Let's no. try again. What do I need to do? And why I'm not able? Oh wait, this one. No. Right on target again! Okay. I got it. No, no. No homo like this. I Let's can't try think. again. Ah. I think I'm time this fast. <laughs> No, why do Let's I not do again. this? Stupid. Relax. No, I don't want. Can I just like? Why do I need this? I can't shoot that fucking shit. Now, focus. I can't focus on what it doesn't do shit. Come on, so stupid. That's amazing, Lily. Colony tech at your service. What do you think? Damn kid, tinkering with my drone. It'll be very useful for the mission. Thanks, Lily. Great. Let me know if you ever run out of ammunition.
Okay, what is all this now? I brought mm. back what you asked for. Here. Great work, Eve. Mm. That was your walk around the city. It looked a little sad. So much empty space. Anyway, let's go to the wasteland, Adam. Well, there are still some issues with the tetrapod steering system. So I'm afraid we're not able to leave just yet. Then when will you be ready? Unfortunately, it's going to take longer than a day. Then I'll go ahead on foot. You can use the drone to guide me. What? The wasteland is a lot bigger than you think. I can't just sit here and wait. In fact, I want to see the wasteland with my own eyes. <laughs> You're one of a kind, Eve. All right, I'll guide you with the drone. Eve, please be careful. Yes, thank you. The wasteland is that way. Eve! Eve, there's something I didn't tell you. Yeah, what? It's about time the drone got an upgrade. Come over here. I want to go to the wasteland too. Or do you think I'd just get in the way? It means the grand opening of Lily's second workshop. Wasteland too. Or do you think I'd just get in the way? How about heading out to the wasteland to get some shooting practice in? One of this spots lower. And we see the wasteland is here. Angel, you'll need useful information in order to operate outside of Zion. Did you know that there is an information dealer in the city? I think it'll be worth it for you to meet that person, despite their character. Yeah. Trouble. Okay. What the what? <laughs> um. Ah, Angel. Lovely to meet you. You... You don't seem very likable. <laughs> All right. You're pretty sharp. I've heard it before. Folks often compare me to a snake. I'm Roxanne. Consider me a kind of info dealer. Info dealer? Yes. Practical things. Gossip, blackmail, fears, weaknesses. I dabble in a bit of everything. Oh, I do like this, Angel. You really are my favorite customer.
<laughs> so you're leaving? I had a good time. I wonder if our customer is as satisfied as I am. Let's leave it at that. Goodbye. How dull. Hey. Oh, it's you. What do you mean, dull? Oh, <laughs> I guess you heard that. I'm sorry if I offended you. Angel. I wasn't asking for an apology. I just wanted to know why you said that. What is this place? This is my shop, Gwen Hair Salon. I'm Kasim, the hairstylist. Hair. I style your hair so you feel better and confident. <laughs> your hair looks great. It's full of potential. But that potential is hidden at the moment. That's why I said it is dull. Is that so? Are you saying you can make my hair less dull? Of course. But I don't have the proper tools with me right now. Those so-called scavengers stole them. I can't run a business without my tools. But then they probably just threw them away. Those tools would be useless to them. Thrown away? Where? Things like that usually end up in the landfill and the wasteland. Okay. I can look for them. In return, you will style my hair. Sounds good to me. I'm missing three items. Scissors, hair dryer, and hair straightener. Understood. I'll be waiting here, Angel. Looks like the Sentinels are pretty unhappy with you, Angel. My god, god. <laughs> so, wait, um, wait, 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 wait. Um, need to go back. Like here. Do I need to go here? Wait, there is nowhere to go here. Hello? What am I? Is it the 
connect bridge or is it yeah. um, here I would like to finish my recording but can I save somewhere? Angel, you'll need useful information in order to operate outside of Zion. Okay. Did you know that there is an information dealer in the mm -hmm, city? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe I really need to buy stuff from her. Shit. Level sands stretch far away. This is the largest land I've ever seen in my life. And yet danger lurks around every corner. Watch your step. If you trip, you might find yourself caught in the arms of death. All right. I've entered the scant coordinates of Altus Lavoir. Let's go. Okay, here I'm swimming, and that's it, guys. The camp doesn't have power. Mm. Oh, let's see. Um, it looks like a good amount of the camp's energy is being supplied by nearby areas. I think there's an issue with the supply network. What can we do about it? This is gonna be tricky. Oh, boy. Outside of Zion, there's a solar tower that supports energy links to nearby facilities. <laughs> it seems like there might be a problem with the tower. We're going to have to go and check. Okay. That's for the next time. So, guys. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.